So if you're looking to potentially build your own germination chamber, it's really pretty easy if you can go to a large box store and find a tool shelf, uh, some aluminum bubble wrap that you could get in the tool department, some aluminum tape, and you can basically just enclose this whole uh, shelving unit with the insulation and you can cover it with a tarp at night. If you put a heater in here, then you add the right uh, level of, uh, of heat to get your plants to germinate. You can also have multiple shelves in here, which would help to uh, conserve space and have a lot more available uh, flats that you could start at once. Uh, here though, Rich has a great example of, he's forcing some ginger and some turmeric, uh, which are you know, hot season crops that need to get started earlier and then transplanted into the greenhouse. Uh, so this system is great too, and uh, anything in particular you want to say about what you have here? Well, uh, this is all um, yellow ginger that I got from Puno Organics in Hawaii. It's um, clean seed, lab grown, it ne it's never touched soil, mm -hmm. so that way I won't be carrying any diseases. I get this in March, yep. but in order to um, mimic the tropical season, I really need to keep these in um, fertility uh, well, no fertility medium, which okay. is coconut fiber. Okay. Keep yep. it moist and keep it hot. So basically what I have is about 60 pounds of rhizome here mm -hmm. um, that I hope will turn into 600 pounds of ginger by Great. August. And I am just keeping them warm, moist, and hot Okay. Um, until they get planted in uh, mid-May. Mid-May. Okay. But you're right, like as soon as these rhizomes come out, mm -hmm. I'm going to put heat mats in here uh -huh. and, you know, keep it warm to just get more germination space for myself because plants don't really need light to germinate. Right. They need heat. Heat and moisture. Great. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you.